just got back from Jerusalem uh, a couple nights ago and um, just been really kind of charged up about it and talking to the Lord a lot and um, just came into church and my wife can tell you that even before we got here I said Lord thank you for words of knowledge for people getting healed and even in the bathroom I was like Lord I just make my myself available to do whatever you want to do and right when we walked into the room for the sanctuary I ran into this little lady and she's already been healed once before <laughs> we were at a Bible study a um, couple well, I don't know it was like what two months ago mm -hmm. yeah and a uh, pastor came up to me said that she had some back pain right yes hip pain mm -hmm. so how does the, sto the story go from there went into the chiropractor to get an adjustment because my mm -hmm. back I really walk and it switched sides. It went from the right side to the left side. And I came in, I was complaining, and then um, church was over, and you came, you guys called me the front, and my legs were literally uneven. Mm -hmm. And you prayed with me sitting down with my um, feet in your hands, and you prayed um, twice. And at first, nothing really right, happened. Right, right. The first time, nothing happened. I started happened. telling you testimonies of that. Right, and then my... By the second time you were done, it was I felt the pain leave, and I thought, oh my goodness, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. And then I looked down, and my feet were perfectly aligned. I've had not any pain. I haven't had a single ounce of pain in that area at all since that happened. And that was, what, two months ago? Mm -hmm. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, so this morning, I came into the sanctuary, and I was talking to your hubby here, because it's No Shave November, and I'm, I'm, pr I'm proud of his work there. Well done. <laughs> and... Uh, he told me that, because I couldn't see it first, because I was talking to you before I talked to him, I couldn't see that you had a boot on. Mm -hmm. So why do you have a boot on? Well, I had plantar fasciitis. Um, had. had it for six months. Uh -huh. Went in to see my doctor. And what is that exactly? I think it has something to do with the tendons that run mm -hmm. along from your Achilles all right. the way down the bottom to your toes. So and tight. through the arch, uh -huh. and so when you go to walk, it's so tight it won't, and oh, so that's right. what's causing all and of it, the like problems. like the stretch pain hurts. Yes. I felt that before. Yeah, so I went in Here and seen a foot doctor, they gave me a shot of cortisone, and it just hurt, like just wouldn't heal. And then you pray for me, and now it doesn't hurt. <laughs> and now you can, Amen. Now you can dance on it and yeah. stomp around. Yeah, and... it's very cool. I can't wait to go get them right. put my tennis shoes on. Praise the Lord. Yay. But, you know, again, the whole reason that I do this, the reason for this testimony is that, one, Jesus still heals today. Mm. And two, if you have the Holy Spirit, you can do this. This isn't just something that's, you know, available to me. If you seek this, the Lord will teach you. Amen. And, um, you know, it's, it's really rooted in... Just believe, you know, if you follow the model that Jesus gave, you can do what Jesus did. Uh, we're all growing in this. So, you know, someday I'll pull somebody out of a wheelchair or tell them to stand up out of their, you know, mm. take up their bed and walk. But, uh, Hopefully you know, it's not me. You, well, you, <laughs> well I, you keep getting hurt just so I can pray for you, apparently. <laughs> but, um, you know, you have to be obedient with the small things. If you're obedient with the small things, the Lord will give you more, give you more, and then uh, it'll just you know you'll keep growing, keep glorifying the Lord because when people get healed, they can't help but thank Jesus. You know, it's just thankfulness. So uh, we're we're happy for you. Happy for anybody else that crosses paths with uh, you know what Jesus wants to do. So, Amen. God bless. Amen.